Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. In this uh, lesson, we are going to use Plax's 2D axis symmetric approach to uh, simulate the circular footing in the uh, previous example. As you remember, in uh, lesson uh, 15, we use uh, a circular we used a circular foundation with uh, two meters in diameter so in uh, this example in this uh, tutorial we are going to uh, simulate the same example but with the axisymmetric approach in plaxis uh, 2d so the uh, idea of axisymmetry uh, when we have a circular uh, geometry like a circular foundation or footing or uh, circular uh, uh, a cross section of the pile foundation uh, and uh, the load is uh, similar uh, or a distributed load on the uh, foundation so we can uh, to decrease the numerical calculation time we can uh, simulate it in the uh, plaxis 2d using 2d axisymmetric uh, approach as we know uh, if we take one circle like that like this we know that uh, in one circle uh, there are about uh, there are uh, six uh, radians and one part which is more than one quarter so uh, one circle equal to pi radian if we uh, calculate a, as a radian uh, and which is equal uh, 6.2831 uh, and something radian so in plaxis 2 the axis symmetric approach we only uh, simulate one radian of the uh, problem and after that we multiply the results by uh, 6.2832 to convert it to the full uh, 3d in plaxis uh, as in uh, plaxis uh, 3d so we go to a lesson 16 i already defined the uh, properties of the soil material and the soil material are uh, similar as the previous okay so again we uh, view we click on view calculation results and we click on curve manager again in the x direction we have the force in the y direction we have settlement so we deactivate the initial phase ok and we copy the data and we export it to the excel again so this data is uh, for the case when uh, the media mesh was used and we copy this one to here so we select data and maybe plexus we write plexus 2d media mesh okay in x direction we have the load In y direction we have the settlement okay so we can see that when we used uh, the when we used uh, the medium mesh uh, the results are uh, somewhat di uh, somewhat different from the uh, uh, fine mesh in plexus uh, 2d so uh, as you see there is still a difference between uh, plexus uh, 2d and 3d and it is uh, uh, possible because it is two different approach and uh, this one is more accurate and more acceptable uh, in engineering uh, so this was for uh, this example and my intention was to uh, explain and show you how we can uh, simulate the axisymmetric or geotechnical problem as an axisymmetric uh, approach in Plaxis 2D. And I hope it was beneficial. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next lesson.